But as we've been telling you, the protest on Sunday was relatively, relatively uh, peaceful here in Savannah, but officers did make a few arrests. Here's our Danae Bucci. Well, there were over a dozen arrests at last night's protest, but Savannah's mayor is praising the event for being peaceful. As several cities across America begin to rebuild after violent protests, Savannah's mayor is praising the hostess city for a relatively nonviolent night. And yesterday was a sterling example of what Savannah looks like. Police Chief Minter announcing today that only 16 people were arrested, including two active duty military members and three non Savannah residents, one of which was from Virginia. Minter says Mayor Johnson's decision to implement a curfew played a major role in the lack of violence and arrests. I think that the mayor's great, quick and decisive action in implementing the curfew, I think really went a long way in, in saving some businesses um, and possibly saving some people from injury. The events organizers say that safety was their top priority in creating the event. Of course, it was stressed by us in our flyers and our advertisements. And after a successful weekend, Harris hopes she and the organizers will be able to bring another march to the city. Protests allow people to come together and say exactly what they want to be heard, exactly the way they want it to be heard, and it's a way for them to really express their feelings and how they feel their anger is justified. Mayor Johnson says protesters were cited for violating the city's curfew order. Reporting from Savannah, Danae Bucci, WJCL 22 News.